What really happened? I'd like to know. I wish I never met him in my entire life. But you once loved him with all your heart. Yes, I thought I did. I later realized I did what I did out of sympathy and some stupid loyalty. My king, please. Can we just stop talking about this? I came here to see you so I can make you happy. Are you serious? Yes, I am serious. <laughs> you know, coming around you makes me happy. And at the same time, fulfilled. Just like having you around gives me joy. The kind of joy that I have not experienced in five years. Mm. That sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy to hear that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, can I go ahead and dish the food? By all means, baby. You can. But you see, I want you to know that your presence here is like food to my soul. <sighs> Just gives me the strength to carry <laughs> It's okay, come on, baby. It's, it's fine. No! It took me time to make this specially for you. I know, baby. I know the work you're putting in. It's okay. I mean, you know, you'll always make me something else. I just got one of the maidens to, to clean it up, okay? Um, it's okay. Sweetheart, okay, okay, okay. You know what? You're here. How about you make me something while you're here? You just go to the kitchen and make me something really nice. I could join you in the kitchen. Yes. <laughs> uh, you will join me in the kitchen? Oh, yes. We'll just make something really nice together. Are you joking? I'm serious. This sounds strange. But that would be nice. Yeah, it will be fun. <laughs> Let's try it. Woman, listen to me. If you know where you kept my daughter, go there and bring her out. Otherwise, I will do something both of us will regret. What kind of stupid accusation is that? Good. So I have become stupid. Listen to me. I am not accusing you, rather, I'm stating the obvious. There's no way you will tell me that you don't know where Mary went. For crying out loud, both of you are very close. And I'm sure that she tells you what she does. So tell her to go back to her husband's house so the young man can have some peace of mind. Oh no. Oh no. Biko. You don't know Gaka. Hold your mouth to. Biko, I'm begging you. How dare you I, 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 I accuse me of, of, of such? How dare you lie to me that your mother is sick? Why your mother is not sick? I didn't even go to your parents' house. And what right do you have to ask me such a question? Huh? How dare you talk to me in such manner and tone? Huh? And who are you to tell me how to talk to you? Who? Now listen, listen, now listen real good. It's obvious you're not coming from your parents' house. So tell me, where are you coming from? Mr. Ma, please. I beg you in the name of God, allow me go inside and rest. Do not spoil my day for me. I'm begging you, please. Let it not be what I'm thinking. 
Let it not be that you went to a man's house. And if I went to a man's house, what will you do? It better not be that. Okay, fine. I went to a man's house. Do your worst. Do that thing you think you can do. Do it. Haven't I told you that I'm tired of this bondage you call marriage? Haven't I told you? I am tired. Ah, do I have to sing it all the time? What is wrong with you? What has come over you? Why are you misbehaving? What is it? Look. Who sowed the seed of discord in your heart? Who? And don't forget that this marriage before better for us. I am tired of this marriage. Oh, for the Munanya. Why? I married you out of sympathy. Marriage is for better for us. If I go, there is no going back. Obi, do you mean my daughter told you that she's no longer interested in the marriage? Yes, Papa, she, she said so. As a matter of fact, this is not the first time she says something like this. <laughs> This is very strange. Honestly, I find it difficult to believe that my own daughter will open her mouth, her vocal cavity to say such a thing to you. Baba, it's very strange to me as well. Baba, I love her so much. I love her so much. I do not want to lose her. She's all I have in this world. Now, uh, uh, tell me, did you, did you, because uh, what, 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 I'm, what I'm envisaging is a kind of teeth, that slight quarrel between lovers. Did you do anything wrong to her? Papa, I didn't do anything wrong to her, at least, to the best of my knowledge, no, I, I, I didn't. Obi, don't ask me parrot fashion. This question demands introspection, that's self-examination. Tell me the truth. I will handle the rest. Did you do anything bad to her? Papa, I, I didn't. If I did something wrong to her, I won't be here asking you, or rather, I won't be here reporting to you. I didn't. Very strange. Quite strange. It means something must be wrong somewhere. But, but, but we can't place our finger on it for now. You know, something is wrong somewhere. That is why I am here, to help me find out. Something, something is wrong somewhere. And that is why I am here, so you can help me find out. Okay. I will never reach that. Don't they enjoy your again? Okay, say stop. Like they want. Stop us. I like to like. I say stop us here. Okay, this way they're like this.
You're dead. Why are you here? I am not dead. You are dead. I gave you a befitting burial. What do you want from me? I am not dead. Juliana, you are dead. Don't torment me. I have nothing in common with you, Juliana. Why are you here? I am not dead. I live for as long as you live. Come. Come to me. Come to Mama. Come to me, my love. I have nothing in common with you, Juliana. What do you want from me? What do you want from me? What, have, what have I done to you? Huh? Why? Why did you do what you did? What did I do? Who is it? It's a royal guard, Your Majesty. What do you want? The visitor is here to see you. Tell them I'll join them. Ask them, is this your majesty? Mini, what's the problem between you and your husband? I don't understand, Papa. Did my husband tell you people that we're having any problem? Then are you trying to answer my question with another question? Has he come to that? Mm. Answer your father's question. Fine. We are not having any problem. Then why did your husband tell us that you want to divorce him? Papa, you mean my husband said that to you? There you go again. Question for question. Can you stop this, your attitude of answering a question with a question? I don't like it. Answer him straight. My daughter, I am your father. Tell me what the problem is all about so we can find a lasting solution for it. Why did you tell your husband that you want a divorce? Papa, I... I really want us to take this oath. I really do not know why you want me to go to the shrine to swear that I will not tell anyone what's going on in our marriage when we get married. Obimi, is there something you're not telling me? Something like what? I really don't know. I just feel like what you're asking me to do is not right. My love, I understand how you feel. But the truth is, I don't want any third party in our marriage. Most failed marriages today are as a result of friends and family intrusion. I want us to resolve whatever problem we might have when we finally get married. Are you sure about this? Have I ever lied to you? But I thought you were a Christian. I swear before this great shrine today that anything that happens in our marriage, you remain with me. I will not bring in any third party into our marriage. If I should do it, may I die. I swear before this great shrine today that I will not tell anyone anything that happens in our marriage. 
and I will not bring in any third party. If I go against this oath, may I die. Hold it together. <laughs> it is done. And so shall it be forever. Oh ya oh ya he oh ya o. Oh ya oh ya he oh ya o. Iwo iwo iwo. O cho 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 cho. Iwo iwo iwo. Mm. Ovrunge okankwa ovrule. Ovrule okankwa ovrule. Ovrule okankwa ovrule. Ovrule okankwa ovrule. Ile ovrule. Ovrule okankwa ovrule. Ovrule okankwa ov Mary, are you all right? My daughter, what is the matter with you? Oh, Guinea. I'm fine. There's nothing wrong with me. I can't take that from you. Something is definitely and seriously wrong somewhere. A while ago, you were trying to voice out something, but all of a sudden, you went mute for some time. Why that hesitation, my daughter? Papa, I said there's nothing wrong with me. Everything is fine. And for the record, I said that to my husband just to test his love for me. I just wanted to know if he still loves me as before. Are you sure? Yes, Papa. Are you sure? Yes, they were sure. Yes. Because I don't even want you to continue with him in that marriage. Can't you see that he's not taking care of you? You're not looking good at all. Eh? And of woman, don't sow any seed of discord in her head. Eh? Uh, it's all right, my daughter. Eh? Everything will be fine very soon. Okay? Don't listen to any type of Hogwash. Any type of rubbish that your mother is trying to say now. Prove to me that I am the only one for you this day. I give you my body. My soul. My all. Take me and do it to me as it pleases you. Are you sure you want this? Yes. Make me feel that sweet and wonderful sensation that comes to a woman when you demand her love and time bread. My king. Yes. Make me feel like a complete woman. Are you sure you want this? Yeah. Hmm? I want all of it.
I hope you know that you're the most beautiful woman that I have ever seen. You are the light that Chukwu Kikabia brought into Obodo to light up the dark areas in our kingdom. I am so happy to be with you. Kiki. Odoku. Staying in your arms is all that makes me happy. I shall look on. Miriam, mom. Staying in your arms too is what I want to do for the rest of my life. But I am thinking that we thread carefully and maybe, you know, cut down on our meeting. Why? Why will you say so? Do you now have another woman in your life? <laughs> Or have you suddenly become tired of having me after seeing my nakedness? What? May the gods of this land forbid that I have another woman that makes me happy. I pray every morning to Chukwoki Kiabia because I want him to give me an opportunity to set my eyes on you every day. Then what is the problem? People are talking. Let them talk. I don't care about what people say. <laughs> All that matters to me right now is my happiness. I'm just surprised you're talking like this. <laughs> <laughs> the sentiment that comes with what people will say is what has kept me in the mystery I am in today in the name of marriage. And I am not ready to let that happiness set me aside. My king. Hmm? Enough of what people will say. I need you. I need you more, baby. Papa, I am losing my patient. Papa, I am losing it. Your daughter is pushing me to the wall. Imagine I want your daughter is pushing me to the wall, and by the time that I will react, if I do it, you again, man. By the time I will react, people will be surprised what I will do. My son, can you calm down and talk to me in the way I will hear and understand you? Papa, your daughter is having an affair with the king. What did you just say? Exactly what you just had, Mama. My wife is having an affair with the king. Do you at all know the gravity of the allegation you have just lifted up against my daughter and the king? Papa, I know. I know the gravity. I know what I'm saying. Papa, if you doubt me, go to the palace right now. You will meet my wife with the king as I speak with you right now. This is serious. Very serious, you. Very, very serious. My wife, if you look at me, not what you will do before I do it on think table. What you come out for? Don't you go up on my phone. I've had it up to this point. Where you go, you know, go. Don't fight your king. He's your king. Pull your temper. Don't fight your king. Don't fight your king. Stop calling for war. Stop calling for war. Mamponata. He's your king. He's your king. Let go. Mamponata. Fools.
Obina. What is the meaning of this nonsense? You call this nonsense, Your Majesty. You call this nonsense. This will be nothing to what I will do to you next time if you do not do the needful, Your Majesty. Obina, why have you chosen to buy the fingers that fed you when you had enough? Your Majesty, I would rather die of starvation than spare an evil finger that wants to choke me to death with the poisonous food. Half of me, you can prepare. I like it. But you see, I'm going to forgive this little drama. Hmm? But the next. Time... But what? Your Majesty, but what? Listen and listen real good. Stay away from my wife, Your Majesty. I swear. Stay away from my wife. Else, you will see the other side of me that you've never seen your entire life. Obina, do not challenge your chi to a fight. You will not leave to tell the tale. <laughs> And I'll be that little fish bone that will choke you to death if you do not stay clear from my wife. Your Majesty, hmm? it's a promise. I will not warn you again, Your Majesty. Pray with that little piece of If you ask me that silly question once again, I will slap you again and again and again, even to the point of diplopia. Why do you want to bring shame and disgrace to this family? Eh? Why are you dragging the name and reputation of this family to come to Meli? Honestly, Papa, I don't understand what you're talking about. What did I do wrong? I have it in good authority that you are having illicit affair with the king. Papa, who told you that? Ask me again. Your husband was here yesterday. He said you are having an illicit affair with the king. Did he lie against you? So that fool came to this house to report me and nothing happened to him? Look, the question is, are you having an affair with the king or not? I demand a monosyllabic answer, yes or no. Yes, Papa. You say what? Yes, Papa, I'm having an affair with the king and there's nothing anybody can do about it. Papa? Papa? I want more. Papa? What is it? Papa, Papa! Stella, what are you doing here? What do you mean, what am I doing here? I came to see you, of course. And what the hell are you doing with a gun? You came to see me. Has it been long you came? I mean, did you meet anyone at home? Can you slow down with the questions? What is the problem? Uh, there is no problem. Can we just, can we just go somewhere and talk? I came to see you and... I know you came to see me, but please, this place is not conducive for us to talk. Why Let's not? Go. Can we go somewhere and talk, please? I don't want to put me into trouble. Please. Stop looking at me. Let's go somewhere and talk. Stop looking at me that way. Get into the car. Let's go somewhere and talk. Please. Now. Now. Get into the car right now, please.
Yes, it did. Why? I don't know. But I've already made up my mind. So there is nothing anybody would say or do that will make me change it. How is his health? Most importantly, how is he feeling? Uh, he's fine. He's alright. <sighs> but thank God we were able to revive him. And the nurse that is taking care of him has given him his medication. So, he's okay. I don't think that's enough. I don't agree. I, I think that he needs to... He needs to see a doctor. He needs to see a professional. No, he's fine. He's okay. No, that's not enough, baby. <sighs> Get him to see a professional. Uh, that way, you know, we're sure that he's really, really fine. Okay, if you insist. I'll just look for money and take him to the hospital. You look for money where? Are you mocking me? Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, you don't have to look for money. I'll give you the money, all right? I'll give you enough money uh, to take care of daddy. It's, I know how he gets sometimes, but he deserves your help, okay? <sighs> he deserves your help still. He's your father. Aren't you so sweet? Am I? Mm -hmm. I thought I was mean. <laughs> no, you're not. So... Can we talk about this now? What exactly do you want to talk about? Stop Everything. being mischievous. What? Everything. Didn't you miss me? No, I did not. Really? Yeah, I did not. Okay, let me see. I did. <sighs> Who is it? Yes, what do you want? No one is able to see Ah. Alright, let them know that I'll be with them soon. Huh? Not at this time. What do they want? I don't know. I'll just find out. Hmm? See your face. <laughs> no. <laughs> let me attend to them. Hmm? Okay. What exactly do you want from me? What sort of funny question is that? Stella, I ask again. What do you want from me? And why did you come to my house? I want you. I want all of you. I want the whole of you to myself. What? What do you mean by you want me? I want you to make love to me. Are you, are you serious or joking? I've never been this serious before. I, I want you to make love to me right here, right now. Like this minute. I... Hey, hey, Stella. Listen. I thought leaving you a long time ago would make you stop drunk. But on. obviously, just after breaking up, you're still doing drugs. Hey, I have to be on my way now. Hey, hey. I don't want you to go. Can't you see that my whole body yearns for you? I, I want Stella, you to Stella, Stella! I am a married man. Besides, this... This is roadside. I do not care. Do, do you actually think I care? I don't care if it's... If, 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 if. I, I just don't care about anything. All I want is for you to... Hey! No, 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 no. You have to stop this now. No. You have to stop this. You have to stop this now. You have to. You have to. You have to stop this. It is clear to me that we are not meant for each other. And why would you say that? Why do we keep seeing each other in our dreams? In spite of the fact that we haven't seen or been together for the past five years. Five years. Five 
years and three months and every other night. I've had you in my dreams. Your face. Every other night. It is obvious that we are destined to be together as husband and wife. Are you sure? Ikemba. Why do we keep seeing each other in our different dreams? Have you asked yourself? I made a very big mistake of getting married to him out of pity and sentiment five years ago. I have lived a loveless life and I do not want to continue living that life. This life has given us another chance to be together again. Please, I beg you, don't let it go. Life will not forgive me if I let it go. What are you doing here? You stupid child that brings shame and disgrace to me. My. Why are you talking to her like that? Huh? Father, what have I done for you to address me like this? If I am truly your father, just go back to the king and tell him that you are no longer interested in that very evil and illicit relationship that is currently going on between two of you. Cut off everything that is binding two of you together. Father, I love the king. He is my joy and happiness. Father, the king makes me feel like a complete woman. May thunder, may thunder twist that to your mouth to the back for, 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 for stealing that rubbish you just said now. I have told you to take it easy with her. Take it easy now. You and I don't know what pushed her into what she's doing now. I don't care whatever that might have led her to that. All I want her to do is that she must go back to the king and do exactly what I have asked her to do. Otherwise, she ceases to be my child. Father, you want to disown your only child? You want to disown me because of a total stranger you know nothing about. Father, you want to disown me because of the beast who deceived me into marrying him and wasting my life for the past five years, Father. What rubbish are you talking about? What rubbish are you talking about? Obi is not a real man. Obi is nothing but a vegetable. Father, Obi is impotent. What? Is he giving? You heard me very loud and clear, Mama. Obi's manhood can never stand. Obi is impotent. He's impotent. He can, his manhood doesn't work. <sighs> For the past five years, my marriage has been horrible. I have lived a miserable life as a woman. My husband has never performed his conjugal duties as a husband. People call me names. They say whatever they like to me. 
to call me a barren woman, not knowing that my husband is the problem. <laughs> my daughter, why didn't you tell us your parents saw this why? Why were you so quiet over this? I mean, over a critical case like this? Why didn't you tell me? Mama, he made me swear. He made me swear in the shrine that I will never tell anybody what's going on in our marriage. According to him, he said it's because telling people what happens in your marriage is not good. That it is a result of most broken homes today. That was why I believed him and when I had to marry him. Check well, wait. You mean all you have just said now happened before both of you got married? Yes, Mama. He told me he didn't want to have sex before marriage. That I agreed. That young man is a beast. That boy is a beast. God will surely punish him for making you go through all this. Mama. Papa, please, I do not want to continue with this marriage. Please. My heart belongs to the king. No way. You are not going to marry more than one man. Polyandry is not a part of our culture. In fact, it's only in the case of death of one of you that you can consider the uterogamy. By the way, you, you, you brought this young man to me and told me that you loved him so much to the extent that uh, of getting married. Did anybody force you? Did I? Good father. I have given your hand to that young man in marriage and he is the one you will marry because marriage is for better and for worse. I... Papa, I have not seen my wife since morning she left the house. So I came to find out if she's here. Didn't she tell you where she was going when she left the house? I, I asked her. She didn't say what to me. She just spoke, ignored me and uh, walked out. And the worst part is that her number is switched off. Young man. What did my stepdaughter do to you that you want to destroy her life entirely? What wrong has she done to you? Mama, I... I don't understand. No, you understand. You understand very well. Let me tell you. Let me warn you. Should anything happen to that girl, hey, I will show you the other side of me you have never seen in life. I will deal with you to the extent you will call death to come and take you, but it will not come. Do not say I did not want you. I do. Shut that your mouth. Eh, eh, enough. enough. Eh, what is enough? Open your mouth. Oh, God. Open your mouth at this point. Open your mouth and talk. What's enough? What is enough? Can you hear the enough? Me down. What is it? Okay. Mama, why are you talking to me like this? What wrong did I do to you? You have done everything wrong. You are evil, Lobby. You are if evil, evil. You are more than evil. How can you deceive my stepdaughter into marrying you when you know very well that your manhood is dead? Yes! If people are gonna want to how can you do that? What does an impotent man have to do with a wife? What can he be possibly doing with her? A woman, is, a, is enough. It's not enough. You are shouting me down. Again. Yes. Simply because you know I'm against divorce. What? What? what against what? what? Say something. Can I say something it. now? Say something. Kwaku, kwaku, don't work in Abu. What is wrong with you? Allow me to talk to this devil in human form. You are nothing but a devil. But let me tell you. Allow my stepdaughter to go. Do not harm her anymore. 
Do not do her evil anymore. Enough is enough. Allow her to go and live with the man her heart is with. The man she has found joy and happiness with. The man that can satisfy her life and find her feeling as a woman. Jirina Swasu. Allow her to go to an engine that is alive, working. You are entirely dead. What are you doing with her? Why do you want this to This man is not dead. He has had even a dead person might have had you. Oh, God, God, Say something. Go to the radio house. On your, on your baby and I walk on a two okay. Go to the radio house. You say on your baby and I walk on a two okay. You know that they 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 move you back and they move you. You know that you back and they pay you back and I walk. I beg you. Nonsense. Hey. The past five years has been full of pain. Agony, sorrow, and mystery. <laughs> he has never touched me ever since he got married to me. Your Majesty, Obi is important. What? Obi is important, yet he made me get married to him. <laughs> what? <laughs> May the gods of our land Obi, are you, are you making this up? Are you sure what you have to say? Yes, Your Majesty. Obi's manhood is completely dead. His manhood has never worked. Like, He's impotent. He, he has never touched me ever since I got married to him. This is crazy. You know, now I understand why it was a bit difficult. You know, to penetrate you the first time I loved you. You know, I wanted to talk about it. You know. I know where I take, but I was just carried away with joy and excitement of, of having you to me for the first time in my life. I mean, it was such a beautiful experience making love to you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm confused, you know. I, if this was the case, why then did you continue to stay in the marriage? I was confused. I didn't know what to do considering the fact that he saved my life. I didn't know what my parents, especially my father, would do if I leave. I didn't know what he would do. And the society. Uh. I didn't know what they would think when they realized that he gave me one kidney. Uh. This is. <laughs> Stop crying. <sighs> so, what have you decided? I am done. I'm done. I don't care about what anybody has to say about me. At this point, all I care about is my life and my happiness. My king, you are that very happiness that I need in my life. My baby. Papa. Yes. 
Please, Saeed. I don't want my wife to leave me. I love her so much. If she leaves, I may die. I can't withstand the shame that I'm going to face in this kingdom. Please, Papa. Obi. Papa. Tell me, what exactly is your endeavor? Is it that you love your wife so much that you cannot afford to lose her? Or is it that you cannot withstand the, 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 the very shame and disgrace that will engulf you after she might have left and people discover that you are important? I, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. But I, I love my wife. I just want her to stay. You want her to stay? Yes, Papa. To stay and do what? To stay and do what? Eh? Why did you lie to her? You succeeded in deceiving all of us. And you made my daughter to marry you when you know very well, right inside you, that you, you, you are dead as a man. Eh? Now you want her to stay. To stay and do what? Eh? So that she will become nulliparous all the days of her life? I am sorry. I am sorry I lied to you and every member of the family. Papa, I'm oh. sorry. Please, forgive me. I am sorry. But please, Papa, I need my wife. I need her to stay with me. I love her. Please, help me talk to her to stay with me. Please. I don't know what to do again about this matter. I, uh, my hands are tied. In fact, I'm completely uh, 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 flummoxed. Why did you do that? You tell me, why did you do that? Why did you betray our love and trust? Why? What did I do to you? And yes, I did the right thing. You did the right thing by telling your parents that I am important. Not mending the oath of secrecy that we too to keep our secrets intact. What is the problem with you? Why did you do that? Why do you have to reveal our secret? Who is deceiving you? Nothing has come over me, and nobody is deceiving me. Talking about deceit, you are the one who deceived me. What are you talking about? Are you seriously asking me how? Obi, you knew about your medical conditions, yet you hid it from me. Instead, you made me to swear to one stupid and useless shrine that I will not tell anybody what's going on in our marriage. And you went ahead to break an oath of secrecy, not minding the consequence. What stupid consequence are you talking about? Tell me! And if you must know, and I'll know the truth. You mean he's not a native doctor? I mean, a powerful native doctor. <laughs> My dear, I told you he's not a native doctor. Kelechi here is my husband. And we've been married for two years. Not just that. We dated for five good years before we got married. I'm really surprised you're saying all this. My dear, <laughs> I am not a native doctor. As a matter of fact, um, Obi is my cousin's friend. So he actually paid me to act as a native doctor to cover up for his problems. That's it. Wow. Hey. This whole thing sounds like days by moonlight to my ears. Like, <laughs> you mean my husband, Obi, paid you? Yeah, I'm not a native doctor. As a matter of fact, it is not even in my lineage at all. Or am I a native doctor? I've never known you as one. <laughs> Thanks to God that we are having this conversation. I mean, oh. if not that we attended this child dedication, we wouldn't have seen you. I wonder. But let alone have this conversation in the first place. I really thank God, though. Oh, I really yeah. thank God. Just um, and you just. Thank take you so in. much. Thank you. Right. I really appreciate sister. this. You're yes, thank you. You're welcome. You. We'll, we'll All right, you bye. Please, my drive darling. Carefully. All right, no problem. You're welcome. Bye. I am sorry. I, I, I never meant it that way. Please, 
find a place in your beautiful heart to forgive me. I, I truly love you. Don't you ever say it. Don't you ever say that to me again. Don't you do it. If you truly love me, you wouldn't have done what you did. Don't you do that. Don't pretend. What is this? I, I am sorry. I didn't tell you because I, I didn't want to lose you. So I, I lost five beautiful girls in the past because I told them the truth. So I am the best person to remain in your life, right? Really? Like I should remain in your life? So you decided to cage me with all those lies? I'm sorry. Ah. Please, I, I am sorry. Please. I love you and I don't want you to leave me. I don't even know why I'm sitting here listening to you. No, no, please don't touch me. I am tired of this marriage. Oh, for the Munanga. Why? I married you out of sympathy. Marriage is for better, for worse. If I go, there is no going back. I am tired of this marriage. And I promise to do the needful within the stipulated time. We have no time to give you, Your Majesty. Do what tradition requires of you. The is, No king rules without a queen by his side. I know. Good. Even in our kingdom, in the history of this land, we have never heard of it. No king has ever ruled our people without a wife by the side more than six months. So, what we're saying is that, um, of course, you cannot be the kind of king that will change the good tradition of this land to a bad one. Mm -hmm. it, of course, it shouldn't be you. Yes. Mm -hmm. If an Adam man. Oh. You will not do what those elders have asked you to do. You will not take another wife. But I need another wife. No, you don't need it. The bylaws of our customs and traditions states that no king can sit on a throne beyond six months without a wife. I need a wife. Or do you want me to lose my throne? No, you will not lose the throne. I will make sure of it. Besides, you have a wife and you do not need another wife. I don't understand. I am your wife. And you don't need any other woman. But you're dead. And the dead and the living have nothing in common. Will you shut up your mouth? Don't you ever spit out this useless thing to me again. It's funny how Obi wouldn't look my way after everything I've done for him. I don't believe that I will come back for my trip from Abuja and still be hearing about this Obi of a person. Why can't you just move on with your life? Forget about that guy. Did you say move on with my life? Oh, yes. How can you even say that? Do you know what I've done for that guy? Did he beg you to do what you did for him? <laughs> you went to police headquarters for something else, right? And you made them there. You decided to help by burying him and even pay for the keke that got him into problem. Why is that a big deal? So what is that supposed to mean? You are bigger than that. It's not a big deal. I know it's not a big deal, but I said I love that man. And I will do anything within my past to have him. Then why did you lose him in the first place? And why are you not with him? The truth is we are never intimate. <laughs> you think I am joking? Listen, 
I was never intimate with Obi. And I never knew him to be such a great guy. It was after he left that I realized I was madly in love with him. But it was already too late because Johnson already introduced me to drugs. That reminds me. What about Johnson? Where is he? I don't know. But he wouldn't stop calling me on a daily basis. Oh. But that guy is I want my guy and I will do everything to have him back. <laughs> okay. If you say so. To your wish. So how are you doing? I've missed you. <laughs> Your Majesty, there is serious fire on the mountain and we have to act fast. We must act fast to quench that fire before it consumes you. Oh no, but what is this fire that you fear would consume a king of my caliber? What is going on? I got a reliable information that the Chi Uzondo is plotting to move that you be dethroned that is, if you fail to comply with tradition, which means by you taking another wife within the stipulated time. Oh, people. Is that why you're panicking? Your Majesty. Oh, no. Relax. My question, though, is what is the problem with the chills on them? Does he think that he can win this battle? The thing is, honestly, I will advise that this is not the right time for you to go into fight with anybody. Uh, instead, think of doing the needful, do the right thing. After all, truly, you need an heir. You need an heir. I know. But I need an heir to this throne. As customs and traditions demand, I know. Yes, sure. And that is why, if you have noticed, I have been threading carefully so that I do not make mistakes that would be costly. But I also think that Ichi Sondo is doing too much. I, I understand. Oh no, rest easy. I want to assure you that your wise counsel will not be in pain. May you live. My, you have refused to say or do anything since your daughter reported to you about Obi's uh, 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 health condition. So, what exactly do you want me to do? You want me to go and kill the young man simply because he's impotent? Huh? What kind of question is that? Marriage is for better, for worse. Meaning that your daughter should continue living with someone that can never satisfy her feelings as a married woman. Let alone getting her pregnant. Oh no. Ijikwanyagi. Eh? Are you with your right mind? Don't you want to carry your grandchildren? Maybe you have uh, started suffering from presbycusis. Let me put it more succinctly to you, maybe for the last time. Mary has married. And nothing on earth will make me to support her stupid idea of divorcing her husband. That marriage must stand. Initially, she was visiting 
once in a while. But as time went on, she started visiting very regularly. Sometimes she visits up to four or five times a week. She has any relationship. Um, but uh, I am not in a better position to answer this question. My king, what really happened to daddy? I am sorry. I'm sorry about. Sorry about that. Please tell me. You got me worried. I know, but I, I don't want to talk about it, no. But I deserve to know. I was seriously worried. And I promise you that it will not happen again. Okay, please. Let's um, not talk about it. I am pregnant. What did you say? I am pregnant for you, my king. Come here. Are you sure what you have just said? May the gods forbid that I lie with something as serious as this. I wanted to break the news to you the other day, but you asked me to leave. <sighs> Miriam, you have made me happy. I want you to know that this is the best news I've gotten since I became king of this land. Thank you. Come here. And who are you to call me in that manner? My findings so far proves that you're a regular visitor in the palace. What do you normally go there to do? What business do you have with what I go to the palace to do? I want to stay away from the king. Why, if I may ask? It seems you're a little bit stubborn. I like that, but I don't want to see you anywhere around the king again. <laughs> wow. You must be a wonderful comedian. In fact, you just cracked the best joke of the year. Man, they don't crack jokes. Mm -mm. I don't crack jokes. If you stand on my way, I will crush you. Oh, yes. Don't say I did not know you. Despite my last warning, you still allowed her into this palace. Why? Juliana, why have you refused to accept the reality looking at you? Don't talk to me about reality. I'm sorry, I cannot do what you've asked me to do. 
because you do not have respect for me and the love we share. She is pregnant for me. I cannot abandon her now. And you do not care about the consequences of your action? My love, do not do what you and I will regret. Tell her to abort that thing that she's carrying in her womb. Else, be ready to face the music. <sighs> Not in my view. Let us try to disturb it. So I ask you, what can Message. Your Majesty, the ghost says your wife still loves you so much. Yes, according to them, they said she is even ready to fight with anyone who might be willing to take you away from her. This is strange. It might be strange, Your Majesty, but that is the bitter truth. Your Majesty, they said, a serious sacrifice has to be carried out. Else, she is going to haunt and destroy your destiny forever. It's a promise. But you don't really understand the situation of things right now. What exactly do you want me to understand? <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. I'm pregnant. What did you say? I'm pregnant for the king. I'm pregnant for him and he's aware of it. Mama, please, I don't want to abort this child. No, 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 no. 
You cannot abort it. You will not abort it. See, you will not allow your father to hear this. Mm -hmm. Else, he will force you to abort it. Just be quiet. It's okay. Thank you. It's okay. Thank you. Honey, I am gradually losing you. And it's killing me slowly. I am becoming a laughing stock in this kingdom. Please, my love. I beg you, whatever you hold so close to you, something that's so dear to you, please do not change your mind. Do not leave me. Please. Why is it so difficult? For we humans to tell ourselves the truth. Some truths are better not told. For telling the truth sometimes could cost someone his or her life. Please, I'm begging you, please change your mind and save me from death, please. Death? I can't live to see you follow another man. Oh, tomorrow is your birthday. I want you to prepare. I want to take you to somewhere special so I can celebrate your birthday for you. I bring you greetings from His Royal Majesty, King Ikemba, the great king of this kingdom. Thank you so much, Ukandu. I must say that I'm very surprised to see you here today. <laughs> I understand. Um, it is a very special day for you. And the king sent me to wish you a very beautiful birthday that is filled with so much love. He prays to Koki Kabiyama to bless you with long life. He say... <laughs> he prays also that you live longer than you wish yourself. He say... <laughs> At this juncture, I want to officially hand over this key to you as a birthday gift from his, the king to you. Happy birthday. It's a lie. <laughs> you mean this guy is for me? All yours. Ah, it's a lie. <laughs> oh my God. This guy is for me. It's your own. What is going on here? <laughs> uh, uh, the, the king, his royal majesty, King Ikemba, the great king of this land, sent this car to her. It is a special birthday gift from the king's heart. Congratulations. Oh my god! Oh my god! What is going on? What is going on? Why, why are you behaving like this? What is the problem? What is the problem? What is wrong with what is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? No, what you hold me back. What is wrong with you? If you haven't done one of you, I'm going and come out again. I don't want to send one of you here. What is wrong with you? You brought a kind of king. But for your, your, your. What kind of a human being is this? Huh? Hold me! What, what are we going to call this? What is all this nonsense? What's going on here? Will you leave my house? Will you leave my house? Idiot. Idiot.
nonsense. Come and carry a car. Idiot. No, come and get the car. My son, what is the problem? Why are you here with a gun? You know, I am not here for you. I am here for this animal. This he god who calls himself the king of this land. I am here to kill him. You wolf in sheep's clothing. Please, my son, kindly drop the gun. Drop the gun, please. Tell me what the problem is. Oh no. This idiot is having an affair with my beautiful wife. He working allowing him. As if that is not enough for him. He wants to forcefully collect what belongs to me. He wants to take away my beautiful wife. I said, I'm winning. And that is why you have come here with a gun. Obi now. You are too small. You're not mad enough. One more word from you. I swear. One more word from you, and I will blow your car open. One more word from you. Damn it. Oh, yeah, Kuzi. No, please. Please for forgive him. My son, forgive him. Please forgive him. I, I promise you, I'm going to look into the matter and I assure you, you must surely get justice. Please. Hello? Warn him. Tell him to leave my wife. I will not warn you again. If you dare get close to my wife again, I swear, I will kill you and kill myself. Greetings, Your Majesty. Yeah. Greetings, Okando. I'd like to know how it went. Your Majesty, it did not go well. Chukwo Kikabi Yaman saved our lives. That is the reason I am standing before you this minute, Your Majesty. What happened? Your Majesty, a man I believed to be her husband broke the windscreen of the car. He did what? Your Majesty, he broke the windscreen of the car. I, 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 I was actually at the verge of attacking him with the other guy that I went to that place with. When he suddenly came out with a gun, Your Majesty, he broke out a gun. He wanted to shoot at us. We had no choice but to run for our dear lives. Your Majesty, that young man is nothing but a beast. He's a beast. I see. It's okay. You can go. As a pleasure to you, Your Majesty. I see that this dream I had was a direct and clear revelation of what is to come. Obina. Obina. I see that you have chosen to bite more than you can chew.
Your Majesty, take this. Ensure you wear it around your neck always. It will prevent her from coming in contact with you. Meaning that it's not a lasting solution. At least it will prevent her from coming to you for the meantime until a proper sacrifice is carried out. As soon as you make available the items upon a goat, hen, four cola nuts, four native eggs, four uzu, four alligator. Eggs. Um, Father, I don't know how you're going to feel about this, but please, I want you to see reasons with me. Listen to me, Millie. If whatever thing you are trying to say to me is all about you divorcing your husband, you better keep it to yourself. Because you already know my stand on this. Why are you always like this? Huh? As a father, why can't you just, you know, listen to your daughter for once? Hey, ne, please talk. They lost whatever you want to say. We are listening. You know? Um, father, the king has declared his interest in getting married to me. And I've accepted to marry. What? Me? What have you just said? Um, Papa, you heard me correctly. I have accepted to marry the king. Okay. Father. Father! 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 What is wrong with you? Father! 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 What is wrong with you? What is wrong with him? Mary, it has gotten to the point where no one deem it necessary to tell me about Papa's sudden illness. If my friend didn't call me on the phone to let me know, I wouldn't have known. It's not what you think. Everything happened so fast, so we had to rush him to save his life first. Besides, we didn't know how you were going to feel if we had called you to tell you about his condition. <sighs> Greetings, Your Majesty. He's fine, but he hasn't said anything or opened his eyes since we got here. But his breathing has normalized. Yes, they are. They've given him like five injections as he's on drip at the moment. Thank you so much, Your Majesty. We appreciate. Okay. My son, why are you here? We did not invite any external body to this meeting. So, what are you doing here? I came uninvited. I greet you all, my elders. I am here because of the impunity that is going on in this kingdom. Did you say impunity? Oh, oh no, you heard him very well. So let him tell us the impunity he meant so that we can proceed with the meeting. I want you all to please help me beg the king to leave my beautiful wife alone. Young man, what do you mean by this very statement you just made? 
The king is having an affair with my beautiful wife. And from look of things, my wife is pregnant for him. What? Huh? You need some rest, so please, I beg you, just relax yourself. Oh, nothing will happen to you. I don't like it here. I really need to be in my house. Nothing, nothing will ever happen to me. Yes, and I. Nothing will ever happen to you. You will be fine for us, oh. Papa, just calm down, oh. Mama. Now that he's awake, let me quickly call the doctor to come and check up on him. Okay. While I go to get some clothes and make food for us to eat. That's a very good idea. Please, don't stay long. I won't. Papa, please don't panic, okay? You'll be fine. I'll be back. Don't get in the rush. I need all my into your phone. My battery is down, so when I return. What are you doing here? What kind of a question is that? Do you know you're a very shameless woman? Do you know that? What have I done for you to call me a shameless woman? Why are you calling me a shameless woman? For what? Do you know if anyone had told me that you opened this old stupid legs for another man to penetrate you, for another man to enter you, I swear, I wouldn't believe that person. You had the gods to open your leg for that irresponsible man that calls himself the king to the extent of getting pregnant for him. I can't remember telling you I, was, I am pregnant. Oh, you think I do not know? You think I do not know that you're pregnant for that animal? You think I do not know? Listen, take this stupid thing, this thing you call pregnancy, take it back to that animal. But why are you shouting? You asking what I'm shouting? Yes, why? In my own to? house! You are asking what I'm shouting! Voice. You are... You've not seen shouting. Hold on. I am going to see. You see the other side of shouting. You idiot. What are you he trying to do? He said I am raising my voice. He said that I'm raising my voice! Hey, he said I'm raising my voice! Idiot. I am raising my voice. Come back and back your kids! Animal! That I'm raising my voice! You had the go! But when that stupid left for, the, for, 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 for that animal. Don't get you pregnant! You! You marry man! You want to pack your things? Come back and pack your things! You are not ashamed of yourself! Idiot! Come back and pack your things! Imagine Obi just me out of his compound with a cut mask today. Eh? Mama, Obi was ready to cut me into pieces, so. Wait, oh. Huh? Wait. You mean the Obi that I know? Yes, Mama. Chased you out of his company with a cut glass? Yes. Like it is it? Eh? Mama, the level of hate I saw in Obi's eyes today is completely out of this world. <laughs> If I wasn't fast and smart enough, Mama, Obi would have killed me. He would have cut me into pieces. 
Hey. I just had to jelly, jelly. Calmly. Go to the house to bring Papa's things. And this food here. Let me tell you. He can't try nonsense. If he tries anything stupid, I will show him the stuff I am made of. Angoronko? You see me here? I pick up. Don't mind him. All this rubbish both of you are vomiting here simply because you are still alive. In fact, he did not do well to have allowed you to leave his compound in one piece. Where to be in his shoes, I will have butchered you and faced the concomitant consequences. After due consideration, I have decided to do what is required of me, escape. I have decided to take another wife and I am going to make it happen within the time frame stipulated by our tradition. Your Majesty, are you sure you are really the one talking? What is wrong with you? What kind of question is that? Oh, are you indirectly insulting the king or something? Oh no, please. Don't say what I did not say. But but in which way did I insult the king? You men should keep quiet and allow the king finish with what he's saying. I strongly believe he is not done talking. Who told you? Are you the king? What else do you want the king to say that he has not said? Okay, for each other. My king, which maiden have you chosen to be to marry? I have chosen to marry the one that has my seed in her. I have chosen Miriama as my next wife and the next queen of this kingdom. Your Majesty. It still baffles me that the king wants to intimidate that young man because of his poor status by declaring his intention to marry a, marry a married woman. Does it mean that there are no longer maidens in this kingdom? You see, the lady in question hmm. has already made her choice based on the news available to me. Hmm. Yes, she has already made her Choice and that choice is our king. Hmm. Okaka, show me someone who is brought into affluence and he rejected it. And I will show you someone that died and many years later he came back to life. God. Miri accepted our king because her husband is poor and our king is anchoring on that. Okaka, this is bad. Amadi, thank you very much for your foresight. Will the elders cannot be alive hmm, and watch this abomination take place? Are you in any way, Uzondo? Are you in any way insinuating that our king does not know what he's doing? His action shows that he deliberately wants to hurt the young man. But count me out. I cannot be part of this. Listen. Will the elders must make sure that this marriage becomes null and void. Sure. It must not take place. At all. If both of you continue with this blasphemy, mm -hmm. I will be forced to walk out on you. Uh -huh. You already walked out from the beginning, Okaka. Oh, oh. <laughs> Your presence is no longer in this picture. Okay. Is that what you said? Yeah, that that's what I, I, You already know. Okay. Suit yourself. Amadi, I know exactly what we will do. My elders, I greet you all. You are welcome. Honestly, I didn't believe I'd find myself in the situation that I am. 
and my entire life. My others, I love my wife so much. So much that I had to give one of my kidneys to her. Which is the reason she's alive today. I supported her financially when she was in the university. I supported her financially and otherwise when she was looking for a job. Until the king helped her secure a job in the state university where she lost three years into our marriage. My others, I have done enough, so much for my wife, whom I still love, from the best part of me. The only thing that hurts me so much where she is is that she betrayed my love and my trust. At this point, we have heard your own part of the story. We will also like to hear her own side of the story. Miruama, talk to us. <clears throat> My elders, I greet you all. We we'll greet you. Sincerely speaking, all he has said is true. And I truly appreciate him for that. I didn't marry my husband because I loved him as much as he loved me. But I chose him over the king because of the sacrifice he made for me in the past. And especially for the kidney he gave to me without blinking. That singular act made me promise myself that I was going to be indebted to him forever. After our marriage, <laughs> I found out that my husband here is impotent. His manhood is completely dead. But I couldn't leave the marriage because of the sacrifice he made for me in the past. And also because of the oath of secrecy that I later found out <laughs> was a scam. After our marriage, we traveled abroad, courtesy of the king. While we were abroad, he accidentally killed a prominent man with his car. That case almost took his life because he was driving without license and he was also drunk. We lost all we had and came back almost with nothing. I also took care of him until I lost my job at the State University. I have done a lot. I have also sacrificed a lot in the past five years in this scam we call marriage. My major anger here is that this man sitting right here called my husband deceived me into getting married to him, knowing full well that he is impotent. Hmm. Oh no. No. My fellow elders, this is a very, very delicate issue. And I urge us to look at this issue with all senses of carefulness. <clears throat> mm. Thank you. It chills on the as no have you come we base here. You have a point. And on that note, na most nam e ha go be na ha bo ego. You don't force a he goat upon a she goat. It won't work. It has to be natural. First and foremost, I would like to know uh, from both of you uh, if you are ready to continue this marriage afterwards or you wish to go separate ways after this meeting. Oh no. Yes. I am ready to continue because I love my wife so much. The way she'll leave my beautiful wife alone for me. 
Um, my elders, mm -hmm. I am sorry to say, I am no longer interested in this marriage. Mm -hmm. I want a divorce. I want out. I am already pregnant for the king. And as we all know, a man that has never slept with his wife since they got married cannot father the child that I am carrying. So I am done. Here's that. Daddy, I'm listening. But Daddy, I didn't do any of those. I promise you I did not. Why would you even believe what they told you? Yes, Daddy. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, I'm listening. All right, Dad. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, son. Bye. What's up, baby? What did you tell my father, Grace? <sighs> I don't understand. What do you mean by what did I tell your what father? What don't you understand? My father called me, asking me what's been going on between myself, Obi and Johnson. And the last time I checked, you are the only one that knows the whole story. So what did you tell my father? I you assumed I'm the one that told him what's Why going not? On. But I never said a thing to him. Why would I even do that? What for? Am I a kid? Ha! If okay, if I'm I'm wondering if you did not say a thing to him, then who did? Do you find this? Because I never say a thing to him. Wait. Someone somewhere is saying something to my dad. And you believe I'm the one? Grace. I'm not happy. Why would you even... Please. We all know that it is an abomination that our tradition forbids that that a child, a king's child, be raised outside the palace, particularly when the child is male. Talk more of another man fathering a prince and a apparent to the throne. You see, you see, not when the king is still alive. It doesn't happen. Oh no, how do you know that the child in the womb is a male child? Okay. okay. Um, I, uh, forgive me. Uh, I didn't tell everyone the outcome of our visit in search of the truth. The panel of inquiry sent to ask questions through a king came back with the information that the child that Mary is carrying in her womb is the king's blood and a male child. It shows Zondu and Okaka can attest to that because they are back on the same journey with me. You are very correct, uh, Ono. But the woman in question is still married to another man. Hmm. So my question is, are we going to support our king to take the wife of another man away from him? 
exactly the same question I've been wanting to ask Gio Zondo. I mean, what are we trying to teach our youths? Huh? We almost call a spade a spade. We are elders. We are no longer children. The king is wrong by sleeping with another man's wife. To the extent of getting her pregnant, in my opinion, he should be made to face the full rot of law. Yes. He should be made to face every punishment our tradition stipulates for offenders like him. That's it. So remember, you still the king of this land. <laughs> yes, of course. The woman in question said that the young man lured her into the marriage deceitfully. So we must be very, very careful the way we handle this matter. That is true. Okay, no, no. Okay, thank you so much, Okaka. That is very true. My fellow elders, what are we even talking about? Why are we beating about the bush? You understand? You're right. so, someone's knowledge is limited to someone's experience. Yes. Why are we even trying to overheat the polity? We're all aware that the, 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 lady, the marriage between Obi and the Miri is based on deceit, which our tradition does not support. Our tradition kicks against it, does not recognize it at all. Oh, okay. We are all here when Mary told us that her husband deceived her into the marriage without her knowing that the young man is important. So what are we talking about? And the young man could not deny it. You don't, use, you don't need a lantern to search for daylight. You understand. It's a very, very simple matter. So it is true that some of you, maybe you don't like the king, you hate the king, but we should be very, very careful. Let us be very careful so that we don't take a decision that will haunt us, that will backfire in future. All of us. Anne mama janjo, anne o, anne bunne, na ma kakwa. Anne, anne bunne o, anne mama janjo. What are you doing here? Greetings, mama. Keep your useless greetings to yourself. I said, what are you doing here? I, I. I came to apologize for... Uh, apologize for what exactly? For deceiving my daughter into marrying you. When you know very well that you are not any man but a vegetable. What have you got to apologize? For wasting the five whole years of this girl. Now you are here to apologize. Get out of this house. Get out of that Pema Anya Get out! Miriam. Miriam, I'm sorry. I know what I did was wrong. Before God and man, this is wrong. But please, forgive me. Forgive me and come back home. Please, I need you. I, I, I need you around me, please. Yeah, please. yeah, young man. Are you drunk? No. He said, he said, he said, he said no. No. I said you should get out of my house. And you're here calling me Miriam. Look! Miriam, you have to go. You have to go. Obobwogi, get out of my house. Mama, I'm sorry. Please, I said you should get out. Let me talk to her to follow me. Mama, I can't live without her. Yes. Mama, oh, that is it. Come and live without her. Live without her. That is the apology. Get out of my house. Get out. Get out. Get out of my house. Mama, I won't leave. I leave my wife. She has to go with me. She will go with me. She's my wife. I married her legally. She's my wife. Honey, let's leave this place. Uh -huh. I won't leave here without my wife. You still have mouth to talk. I won't leave without my wife. It's my wife. Okay, you still have mouth to talk. Good. Okay. 
I can see that you are a good beggar. You are a good beggar, Pia. No, you are a good beggar. Uh -uh. No, come and apologize. Idiot, come. Don't run, come. Useless man. Useless idiot. Nonsense. No. Miri Babu Kwegi. Miri. Love. Love Babu Kwegi. Miri Babu Ogi. Hanuman. Ne. Let me tell you. Don't listen to him. Don't ever listen to him. He's evil. In that marriage is over and the over. When I say over, I mean over. Akorobom, stamp poya. It is stamped. It is over. Are you hearing me? Nothing like marriage between two of you anymore. It is good that you get into your marriage. Give birth to your children as your mother gave birth to you. Oria, that is it now. You want to go there and imprison yourself. Is that what you want? Don't ever get close to him. In the marriage is over. Over and over. Get inside the one. Take the knife and smash it inside. Useless man. A pair chai siku dene. Bebe me na pair apology. Apology bu kwegi mili bu kwegi. Hanema. Idiot. Come, come back again. No, you, you come back again. I'm waiting for you. Your Majesty. We have carefully looked into the matter on ground. And we've also come to the conclusion that the marriage between Obi and the Miri has been a deceit. Still a deceit. Which is not acceptable in the eyes of the gods and of men. Even our tradition forbids such. So you can go ahead and marry Miri. Your Majesty, the only thing is that Onu should return the bride price paid on her head. That bride price should be returned to Obi. And that is that. So, you now go ahead. Mm -hmm. So, that is our conclusion. Thank you very much, Onu. And to my elders, I want to thank you, especially, for being so kind and understanding, and also agreeing to do the right thing. I understand that the controversy that this issue um, has stirred up is capable of splitting this cabinet apart, but we are thankful to the gods for wisdom and direction. We are here now. There is no going back. We can only do um, what we have to do. So once again, I say thank you and I appreciate you all. You're welcome, Your thank Majesty. Thank you so much, Your Majesty. You're welcome. Your Majesty, the bitter truth is we are not proud of what you did. Nevertheless, what must be done, must be done. Ah, greetings to you, no? Greetings. Greetings. To you, my son. I am actually on my way to your house. To my house? Yes, Ono. I hope all is well. Ah, Ono. How can all be well? When the only thing that means the whole world to me is about to be taken from me, Ono. How can all be well? <sighs> is it not better you go straight to the point? Hit the nail at the head. Straight. I, I, I'll go straight to the point, Ono. Okay, okay. Ono, it's about the king and my beautiful wife, Miri. I have a very reliable information that the king is planning to begin the marriage process. Oh no, I beg you in the name of the gods, please go and meet the king. Tell him to leave Mary for me. Mary is all I have in this world. Please. Oh no, there are so many maidens in this kingdom. The king can call for a meeting. He's a handsome man and wealthy. He can pick one from the 
So many of them, he can just, he can, if he wants to get 10, he can get 10 of them. But please, let him live a miracle for me. Please. First and foremost, whoever that gave you the information is right. There are fights you can never win. Yes. And this very fight you are about involving yourself is one of them. You can never win. How do you mean? I am just coming from your supposed in-law's place. I want to see him to finalize arrangements because in two days' time, we will be there to commence the traditional marriage rites as tradition demands. So, I will advise you back down from that fight. Forget the fight. It is already late. So late. We've lost the battle. What is it? Listen, there are people we know in this kingdom to be very reckless drunks. You are not one of them. Why are you acting like them? Eh? Do not insult me else. You will see the beast in me. Who can do much in a minute does not have the time to insult anybody. Who can do only look people in the face and tells them how he feels. Listen to me. It is only a drunk that will have the mind to stand on the way of the king. What is wrong with you? Please, I beg you, leave the way for he has a very important... Go on, tell your king that he has to run over me before he can make use of this throat today. How dare you open your gutter mouth to vomit such rubbish? Mm. Are you all right? What is wrong with you? But, your, your majesty, Obina, why are you in my way? Your Majesty, why did you decide to take that which matters to me? Why, Your Majesty, why? I am king. I take what I want. Especially if it is going to give me joy and satisfy my soul. Obin, I don't like that you're standing in my way. Seeing you in this position, my first instinct naturally would be to run you over. But you see, your life is of no meaning to me, and I would not want to take it. I'm running late for a meeting. Do not be an impediment. You have to run me over, your majesty, before you can make use of this road today. I swear. I will not leave this road today, your majesty. Today! How can you collect what matters to me and you ask me to leave the road for you? Your majesty, I will never run me over if you have to make use of this road today. You will never use this road. It belongs to me today, your majesty. You have to run over me to make use of this road, your majesty. I will never leave. Not possible. You can't take the brains that I bring. Ah, mbano, mbano. Ah, hey! Wani nega nuonum. The whole world will hear my voice today. That his majesty forcefully collected what belongs to me. Mbano. Ah! You know what? The way you behave at times gets me pissed off. What nonsense are you talking about? Call it whatever you like, but you are not doing the right thing. If you never had the wrong man. 
Has it got anything to do with our daughter and the king? If yes, please forget about it. There's nothing to forget about. From all indications, Obi has hypnotized you. Uh, <laughs> Listen to me. No one has hypnotized me. Rather, I am just standing on the path of justice and truth. What nonsense justice and truth are you talking about? And I, let me ask you, why did you say a word when Ono was talking to you about the marriage process? Is that what your problem is all about? Yes, that is my problem. Why did you talk? Let me tell you, whatever a man will do is in his heart at any point in time. So I know what I want. Hello, sir. Oh, no, Wu. Oh, I am very sorry for having not called you earlier. Yes, yes. Uh, the thing is, uh, I have not been well since yesterday. Yes. I've been having cold, catar, headache, and severe stomach ache. I, I, I'm even stooling too. <clears throat> As I speak with you now, I am inside the toilet. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, I've gotten some drugs. Thank you very much for your concern. Uh, oh no, please. I will not be able to join you and the other elders to go to Maziono's house. Yes, I uh, yes, I've gotten some drugs before, but once I'm done from here, I need to go and get additional drugs. Yes, yes, I won't be able to join you to Ono's house with other elders. I'm sorry. Thank you, Ono. Thank you for understanding, please. Nonsense. Hmm. Uh. Uh. Oh, <laughs> greetings, Onu, a noble and great man of our kingdom. Greetings, Onu. Greetings. Elders of Obuduku Kingdom. I greet you. Mazonu, your countenance screams unhappiness. And you seem to be in a hurry. I, I want to ask, is everything all right? Oh, no. I don't want to circumambulate. Let me go straight to the matter as the crow flies. Some hoodlums, Christian or non gunmen, had the temerity of the intestinal fortitude to barge into my house to adopt my daughter. Even Aye. as we speak now, they are still at large. Aye. What? What are you talking about? When did this happen? Early hours of today. I, I, and, and I want to ask you who must have done this? That is what who I'm, must have done this? That's what I'm yet to ascertain. As a matter of urgency, I am rushing to the community police station to make an entry. Please, 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 please. No. I'm not abandoning you people. No, no, you no, can no. see please, the, no, the no, urgency no, 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 of the do, situation do. on ground. The urgency is Why, Take it easy, Ono. Hey. In our land. Ono. Why the leak on one? I know you cousin. No, no, the, 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 let, let, but, but this is very serious. This is very, very serious. Kidnapping? 
in this our land? Who must have done this? Hey. This is serious. Hi. Yes, Daughters of my land, why are you all so quiet and pensive? What is going on? You're all seated mute, like a set of people whose tongues are tied. Or am I now forbidding from getting a feedback from my elders in council? What is going on? When a child is sent on another round, and such errand is not pleasing. The child finds it difficult to go back home. Bizarre. Your Majesty, the feedback we bear is not pleasing at all, and it's not rosy. Even the life we live is not rosy. Uh, but we still carry on. As your king, I demand feedback. What I'm about to say is heartbreaking. But you have to prudently handle it. Our meeting with my zone. Yes. He said his daughter was kidnapped early hours of the day. What? Well, um, that is exactly that was how we felt when we had the news. I'm still wondering who must have masterminded such an evil act. Your Majesty, do you have anyone in mind? Whoever is behind this has touched the tail of the white lion. And I am going to get to the ends of the earth, if that is what it takes to fish that person out. I feel you've gone insane because I know I've warned you countless times to stay away from me. 
What do you want? Stella, I am that tune you will always dance to all the rest of your life. That does not answer my question. What exactly do you want? I have it on good authority that you kidnap Millie. Where did you get such useless information from? I am only unaware of something I do not want to know. I want you to release that lady. Else. Else what? Else what I am asking you. So you actually feel so comfortable coming to my father's house to rant at will? How dare you? I'm ranting? Stella, did you just say I'm ranting? Of course you know you are ranting. Else what will you be doing there? Now listen to me. I want you to tell your boy Sharp to release that lady immediately. Else I am going to storm their dents and expose you. How, how did you get to know about Sharp? I give you one hour. If you do not release that lady, you are going to see the demon in me. Shut up. Seriously? This is it? Huh? Babe, just shut up and let me think. I need to clear my head. Clear what? What nonsense do you want to clear? When did you become this hardened? When did you become a kidnapper? Grace, you are in no position to judge me. Oh, please. I have every right to judge you. You heard me. I have every right to judge you. What if your dad got to know about this? What will you tell him? I thought you were my friend. You've changed. When did you become this? What, what, what is wrong with you? Come on. Everything I did was out of desperation. <laughs> I love Obi a lot. Oh. I love him so much that I can do anything to have him. I need him. Really? Really? Seriously? Okay. Before your obsession would get out of hand, I have a vital information for you. What is it? Is it about Obi? Yes. Obi is impotent. What? You heard me. Yes. He's impotent. And I have a varied evidence to show you. No. No. <laughs> I mean, baby girl, Obi does not want all these fights. Come on, baby. You've changed. Obi is not worth all these fights. Go and release that innocent lady, please. This is not you. Please. Okay? Come here. It's all right, okay? It's all right. I am 
Oh no, it is not just unfortunate, it is a bad omen. As a matter of fact, it is an abomination, Your Majesty. Exactly. It shows on you are very correct. Oh no, it shows on you. Your words are deep. I want to know if we're still on the same page. Your Majesty, we have been on the same page before, but the death of Maziono has torn us apart. You're still speaking, Redos. I demand that you speak in plain language. If there's anything you're hiding, talk to me about it. Your Majesty, Ichi Uzondu is like the crab that cannot be eaten in hiding. There's nothing I'm hiding. There is nothing to my knowledge that is outside the knowledge of Onuowu and the other elders. To say the least, Your Majesty, I am surprised that you seem not to understand the implication of Mazionu's death to the discussion we are having at the moment. Onuowu, oh, what exactly is going on? Mm, As no na bad dobiezo chie na ona ha hazin hanya. When you cut a rope and tie it back, it can never be of the same size. You see, uh, the, 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 the sudden death of Mahazion has actually affected a lot of things. Has become a clog in the wheel of progress. As far as you getting married to Miri is concerned. Mahazionu, who is supposed to return the bride price paid on her daughter, at the same time, receive your own bride price, is no longer alive. I'm afraid the, the, the marriage may not work. I am afraid. When you know that what you have said will never happen, how do you know that the things that I say would not happen? Hmm? Have you stopped believing in the power of love? You just said to me some minutes ago that the elders said the death of my father means the end of our marriage plans. Worry not yourself about the words of my cabinet members. But think constantly about the power of our love. For well, that in itself is capable of seeing us through. Okay? 
You just have a way of changing situations with your words. I know. <laughs> you just have a way of changing situations with words. Thank you for giving me hope to love and believe in the power of love again. Thank you for coming back to love this imperfect king in the most perfect way. And I will always love you no matter what. Please, my king, can you forgive Obi and grant him freedom? How I wish the dead can witness their own burial. Why did you say that? <laughs> Mama, where will I start from? Is that the 10 cows? Five different bands? Mama, or is it the serve yourself kind of food? Hey? The king really <laughs> spent lots of money in this papa's burial room. I wish your father was alive to witness that Dobi he was seriously fighting for could not contribute anything meaningful in this burial. Mama, if not for the king, will they see this kind of burial in this kingdom? Nebe. Hey. Hey. But Mama, the only problem right now is how do we return the bad price back to Obi? Mm -hmm. Mama, like your father told me, uh, the, the tradition of this kingdom forbids a woman from uh, returning bride price or collecting dowry. That's it. But the question is, what do we do? What's the way forward? <sighs> well, um, I could remember that your father told me that his younger brother relocated to uh, 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 one kingdom like that years ago. His younger brother. Younger brother. Oh, yes, 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 Mama, I remember. I remember Uncle Ofokansi. That's it. Hey. Ofokansi. But did he tell you the particular kingdom? Mm -hmm. Um, 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 ah, yes, uh, yes, yes. Umuri, ancient kingdom. kingdom. Hey, yeah, I but I don't know if he will still be there. I don't know. But we will check. Oh, we have we have to now. Hey, but we don't know the exact place. Don't worry, when we get to that place, we know how to go. Hi. We, we will ask. What do you want? And how did you locate my house in the first place? Oh, of all can say, calm down. <laughs> Why not welcome us properly? Um, the, uh, the king is here before you. The king, you say? Yes. <laughs> oh no. The last time I checked, he's the king of Obodoku Kingdom and not the king of this very kingdom that I live. I ask you again, oh no, for the last time. What do you want? Of course, I don't need a sweet sir to tell me that we are not welcome in your board. Well, for whatever reason best known to you. However, I beg of you, kindly find a place you have to forgive us. Whatever wrong we have done against you, kindly forgive us. Grant us audience. Can we go inside and have a word with you? Audience inside my house? Listen to me. You are going to stand right here and tell me whatever you have come to tell me. And you have just five minutes to do so. Really? Okay. Well, um, a man has right to accept, welcome or reject a visitor. Oh, thank God. Yeah, you know. yeah, yeah, we respect that decision of yours. But our king needs your help. That is why we have traveled all the way from Oboluku to your place. Please. Listen, I do not have that luxury of patience right now. 
So go straight to the point. Oh no. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, our king is interested in marrying your late brother's daughter. Oh, really? Yes, of course. <laughs> king! And how is that my business? <sighs> the marriage cannot hold without the bride price paid on her head by her former husband being returned to him. And you are the only one that can do that. Returning of the old bride price and receiving of the new one from our king. Kindly do all this favor. I beg you in the name of whatever you believe, whatever you worship, do help us. Please. Oh no. It is only a dog that goes back to its vomit. Oh no, my late brother and his entire family at the vomit I am not ready to go back to. You have both overstayed your welcome in my compound. I need you to leave before I do something very stupid. We should leave? I said leave! Uh, we should leave? Uh, including the king? Yes. With the king. Leave. Have I not made it clear that I am not ready to do what you're asking me to do? My late brother stood against me when I needed him most. He spoke in favor of Ijoku instead of me, his blood brother. Now tell me, how do you expect me to do anything that will favor his, his family? How? A focus. Truth is bitter. We all know that your late brother Ono did what he should do. He did the right thing. And his singular action saved you from death. That is the truth of the matter. But, think for instance, if he did not open up to say the truth, if he had allowed you to swear that the land in question belonged to you, that would have been your end. But, but that is not why we are here anyway. I beg of you, kindly let us concentrate on the matter on ground. Of can say, I beg of you, please, do have a change of heart, for God's sake. Mazi of Okansi. I understand how you feel. You see, when situations like this arise, first, Things first. I'd like to, as much as I can, put myself in people's shoes. That way I get to feel what they feel. So that I don't make um, an insensitive assessment of what is going on. But having said that, I want you to know that I am here because I respect you. I'm here because I want peace. I am here because I propagate peace. I am here because I love your niece. Become. I also want to tell you that I am also not here to talk about the events of the past and who was wrong or who was right. I'll ask that you forgive so that the innocent children of today do not have to deal with the sins of their fathers. Be calm. Be calm. From your narration, I'm Amne Mejorke. Odozien. Butuo. Ah, this is your niece. She needs you. And you need her too. I beg you, 
Forgive my father in any way he offended you in the past. Please don't turn your back at me at this very point in time. Uncle, look at me. Please. At least if not for any reason. For the sake of this child I am carrying. I beg you, Uncle, please. Please forgive me. Forgive me, I beg you. That's all right. Listen to me. I have forgiven you and your family. I've heard. For the mere fact that an innocent child is involved in this situation, it simply means I have to do all that I have to do. Stop crying, that's all right. Okay. <laughs> Mas, thank you very much. I know that she appreciates our respect. That's why she wants to see us. Is this a gang up to forcefully take my wife from me? Obi, my son, I know the king has been respectful to you, has been polite has been diplomatic to you. Do not take that for cowardice. Yes. Don't take it for cowardice. I believe you have stayed your welcome. You may take your leave now. How dare you order elders of this great kingdom out of your house? In Lewala. Who are you? You don't want to leave, right? Hold on. I am coming. We are waiting. You see, this is very simple. What has come over here? I need it. Oh, get out of oh, Where are you? Oh, no, bring your hand. Get out of my house. Get out of my compound. Oh, compound. Oh, Idiot. Anomano. Eh? He was sent you to fulfill call my wife from me. One of them, we are in him. Let them, we are in him. I see what the first look at that from me. Get out like Jonah and your babble. I don't mind, I don't mind. No, come back. Bring the bright price. Idiot. No, 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 she was a bright, 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 bright price. Get out like that one and there. I have never been humiliated like this in my entire life. That good for nothing boy, he had the mind, the temerity to point a gun at us. And as if that wasn't even enough, he made us run like little children. Hmm. Listen, we should be thanking the gods because we are alive. Listen, if not because we ran for our dear lives, you and I knew that we would have been dead by now. So, let us thank the gods for surviving it. So, who had the gods to pursue you people with God? Huh? He hey. has grown. Obi has grown. You needed to see the fire in his eyes. The anger. When he was pointing the gun at us. Like I said, if not because we ran for our dear lives, we would have been dead. He has gone out of his normal human being. I don't know what is wrong with him. I don't even know the kind of human being he is. Oh, Kaka had to run straight to his house because he said he cannot come here <laughs> with us. That boy has to be taught some little lesson. It's high time he knows that there are certain things he cannot do and then get away with them. I think he has beaten more than he can chew. He needs to be taught a lesson. What did you say? Oh no, well, you heard me correctly. I need to go and see him and talk some senses into him. What's all this? And I go put I go put another. 
my daughter, you are not going anywhere. Because you have heard what he did to your uncle and they know him. Eh? Do you want to go there and endanger your life? Bah, I don't want anything to happen to you. My daughter, please don't go there. Don't! You don't clean the eye and the ear with some object. Don't go there, please. That man is a beast. As we speak, he can kill. He can kill at any point. That idiot. That stupid fool will not try anything stupid. Because if he does, <laughs> I will show him who I am. He has not seen anything yet. What kind of human being? I've tolerated enough. Sabina. I have come here because I have a heart. The buyer is seen if it is mad. You can know me. I will look on the camera. When people find themselves in very difficult situations, you ask yourself, how would you have felt if you found yourself in that situation? I'm here to talk to you because I know that the last couple of months have been long, But I am here to tailor your heart and profile what I feel would be a solution and see how we can put an end to this cold war. Obina, you know that if we continue to fight, uh, the grass would suffer. And you and I would not want to Miriam to be that grass. It is going to destroy her. And I know that you love her. That is not what you want for her. And so I have come to appeal to you. As your king. And as your fellow man. To please. Let her go. I know it is hard. I know that it is not easy. But she has made her choice. Do you want her to continue to live a loveless life? I'm sure you don't want a ticking time bomb as a wife in your home. Be calm. Find it in your heart to so let the one woman that you and I are in love with follow her heart. This is not about me. It's not about you. It is about Miriam, her interests and the choice that she has made. I am not the villain here. I just happen to be a product of the choice that she has made. I beg you, as your king and as your fellow man, let her go. Obi. Can't you see that Joko Kid did not want both of us to live together forever? Can't you see the reality of life that is staring you in the face? What reality are you talking about? That I am in love with another man. 
Obi, you and I know that this pregnancy belongs to the king. Obi, I fell out of love with you even before I married you. How do you mean? The moment I met the king, I knew he was my husband. I fell in love with him immediately, and my heart stopped beating for you. Obi, I married you out of pity and loyalty. I married you because of the sacrifice you made to save my life. I married you because I wanted to fulfill the promise that I made to you. If you refuse to collect the bright price that was paid on my head, I will be forced to live in this house with you as your wife. But I will never get rid of this child. I will give birth to this child in this house, and this child will bear the name of the king. <sighs> Secondly, you will live a loveless life, for I will show you no love, for I have no atom of love for you. <sighs> I ask you, is this the kind of life you want to live as a man? Why don't you just let me go so that you can heal and find another woman that will love you and accept you the way you are? Please, I beg you. Please, I beg you, do this for me. Please. <sighs> Please, Obi. I beg you, please. Just listen to me and do this for me. Please. Hello. Um, it is very clear to me that Chukwu Kike did not create both of us for each other. This is the most difficult decision I have to take. And a very difficult one. I have loved you through my life. I have made so much sacrifices. But at this point, I, I have to accept my fate. I want to let you know that I, I do not have anything against you. Not at all. I, I want I want you to tell your people to to return the bright prize. I 
I paid on your head. I am now ready to accept it. You can go ahead and marry the king. I wish you good luck. After the rain comes sunshine. My father told me that an anticipated war does not consume a cripple. <laughs> Today is a great day and uh, we are here finally. We want to first and foremost thank you for the wonderful role you played. Thank you so much. I'm the gods of this land, of Ubuduku, of your land. Bless and protect you. Yes. yes. Um, in accordance with the list you gave us, uh, these are the items we have come. Once more, thank you so much. In love, thank you so much. Yes. Thank you very much, Ulo. You have said so much. I want to sincerely appreciate you all for being part of this great occasion today. My king, the lion himself. Greetings. Indiche, I want to appreciate you for coming. Uh, without wasting much of our time, I have seen the items you came with. They are all complete. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. It only saddles my heart that my brother, Ono, is not here. But I know that even in death, he is here with us in the spirit. Well, without wasting much of our time, let us do the needful. <laughs> Good is my daughter, Asamwa, mirror of beauty. <laughs> Take. I need you to take a seat and then show us your husband.
Ah, my people. As you can all see, today is indeed another great day. Yes. In our history, eh? the gods have blessed me. The gods have blessed this kingdom with a seed for my loins. Hi, my son. The heir to the throne. Of Obudu. Today I declare that he shall be called Ikemba the second. Hey. 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 